what was life like for you and your father and mother, for you growing up in a place like Sarasota, Florida? How, how segregated was it? How, what was the black community like? It was segregated. It was segregated, but like I said, we couldn't eat at the restaurant downtown. That's why my daddy put my mama in a restaurant, a black restaurant. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the thing about it is, sweetheart, we own so many more things then than we do now. We didn't, you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah, see the man is right down the street there, Street Hotel. Man on the Street Hotel was black. Man had the restaurant Street Hotel was black. The man at the barber shop was black. The man at the bar was black. You understand? They own these things. We own so many things that we don't own, own anymore. Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Howard Theater. The Howard University. This was ours. What are you talking about? New York City, I knew Harlem, baby. When Harlem was Harlem. You understand what I mean? We stayed at the small hotel. Mr. Small was black. Who owned the small hotel? You understand? Yeah. So all of these things. Adam Clayton Powell Sr. preached the baseball sermon. Ever seen in your Baptist church for the New York Black Yankees, New York Cubans, Kansas City Monarchs, and the Memphis Red Sox. Because we would go for two weeks every year we would go east and two weeks they would come west. That's the National League and the American League. And he preached this sermon. After the sermon we go to play in Yankee Stadium. That 14 double hitter. We got 40,000 people in there. 99 and 9 10 percent of that 40,000 people were black. I tell you what. Branch Ricky that same Sunday, he had 20,000 people. That's why Jackie Robinson, he was in competition in New York with the Giants and the Yankees. Mm -hmm. And so, but when Jackie, he signed Jackie to that contract, it made all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. Good business decision. Of course it was, because he was an astute businessman. That's what he was. That's what he was thinking about. You know, they say he was a, 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 a actually a, a very religious man, which he could have been, but he was an outstanding businessman too. This is what this is a capitalistic society, sweetheart. You know that. Mm -hmm. Abs and absolutely, right. and and it's it sounds like from the description that you're giving of Sarasota in the days when you were growing up there, there was there was a a strong black community where the black people owned their own businesses, owned their own enterprises. Yeah. What, what, did you have growing up, did you have much contact with white people? Of course, of course. Sarasota was a small, small, small town. Yeah, sure you had contact with white people because one thing what you, what you, what you had, you, if you would, uh, now, the grocery store in our our neighborhood, white owned, but black people working, doing the working, and uh, different things. And Sarasota was more or less like a tourist town. Yeah. A lot of the young men would travel with the Shakers during the summer months, come back home in the winter, come back home in the winter, and work on different jobs there. But it was uh, actually. And you know we had our black churches, mm -hmm. had our black churches, and, and other things that uh, that you had to have. Mm -hmm. but, but in Sarasota, we actually had a black theater, mm -hmm. the black movie theater. Did you go to school with white children? Wait a minute, God! You know what I'm talking about. But wait a minute, I'm like, hey. <laughs> I'm talking about nineteen twenties. I know. And did I go to school? No, I'm I went to I went it. to Booker Grammar School. Mrs. Booker was the principal there. Mrs. Booker, 
six feet tall, black and pretty. I had a crush on Miss Booker. But let me tell you what. Mrs. Booker was probably the most educated person in Sarasota. See, a white teacher would go Florida, get a BS, and come on back and teach school. Mrs. Booker, Spellman, you know what I mean? After Spellman, that you know, and, and Atlanta, you wouldn't take her for a master's. Columbia, you understand? See, she get her master's in Columbus. I doubt if any white teacher in Sarasota had a master's degree. Mrs. Booker, mm. oh man, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Booker, and Mrs. Booker said, tell your children, this eighth grade education's not enough. I'm gonna teach night school, I'm gonna teach summer school. I took up on that. 